I don't think we should gloss over the fact that in this day and age, when we are seeing the first NFL playoff season since 1998 that does not feature Hmm. Tom Brady or Peyton Manning in the field. Okay. Crazy. That we are seeing two young quarterbacks kill it in their first career playoff starts for a rookie in C.J. Stroud to do what he did against the number one total defense. No rookie quarterback had ever beaten a team that brought a number one total defense into a playoff game before, and C.J. Stroud did. Now, I know the Browns' total de- number one total defense different on the road than at home. Doesn't matter. They had Miles Garrett, mm-hmm. Mr. Grim Reaper himself, back in the state of Texas, and he couldn't do a darn thing. And C.J. Stroud... Killed it, crushed it, and then in the state of Texas, strolls Jordan Love for his first career playoff start, and he kills it. He crushes it. And look at the numbers on the screen. It's unbelievable. C.J. Stroud had two more passing yards than Jordan Love, 274 to 272, but they had the same number of touchdowns, three. Neither of them threw a pick. They completed the same exact percentage of passes, 76%, and the same quarterback rating of 157.2. It's like mirror images statistically. Unbelievable. And both of them are all like, yeah. Give me Stroud soundbite first, and then we'll do Jordan Loves. They're both they're both like, uh, okay. Here's Stroud. This is like a dream come true as a as of a like um how close we are as a team. Like we're really, really close. Offense, defense, special teams, like we all men well together and just have another week to go at it with my brothers it's a blessing, you know. So um I'm I'm super excited for this team and, and the city of Houston and I'm just blessed to be in the position I am. There you go. And Jordan Love, he, boy, he looks like a deer in headlights too, huh? <laughs> Get it. Jordan, how much does this win validate what you did, you know, during the season? Um, man, I think it just shows what we're all about as a team. Um, you know, like I said, we've been counted out so many times. Um, and uh, I don't know, I think it was just a great team win tonight. Um, all three phases were able to step up. And, um, you know, when we're playing complimentary ball like that, um, I think we're tough to beat. I'm talking about their teams, talking about, I mean, and if the Bills win later on today, guess what? Both of these young studs, or dude, right? Isn't that what Matt LaFleur called? Lo- Real dude. Real dude. Real dude. They're the ones who are going to now try to one and done the one seeds. If the Bills win, Texans go to Baltimore. And we already know who's going to San Francisco next weekend. Ooh, baby. That's what is happening, again, in the first playoff season in forever that features neither Peyton Manning nor Tom Brady in it. And all I'm sitting here thinking... Uh, uh, Because, you know, I I like making things about me, but I'm serious. (laughs) This is what I'm sitting here thinking. Seeing these two young stud quarterbacks drafted. One of them starts right away in C.J. Stroud. One of them waits for a long time behind Aaron Rodgers. And you hook them up with two coaches who are taken from the San Francisco staff. D'Amico Ryan's. Matt LaFleur. And look at them. Look how they're flourishing. By the way, great idea. Take somebody from San Francisco, draft your quarterback, and go to work. Sounds like a plan, right? Working for the Texans. Working for the Packers. How'd that work for the Jets? Let's take Sala, and let's draft Zach Wilson and go to work. And instead, that flopped so badly Let's take the guy Jordan loves shoving out the door or we're ready to send him packing because we want to see Jordan love and we believe what we have in Jordan love. What is Rogers thinking right now? I would love to get his innermost thoughts. I don't know if he's going to appear tomorrow, but that's, that would be the question I'd want to ask him. You know, the young receivers that 
didn't work out with him in his final season in Green Bay. Maybe they were too green. But Dobbs had 151 yards and a score. Christian Watson only had one target, one catch for nine. And everybody else came in the draft, including picks that they got one from the Jets. I mean, honestly, got to get the quarterback right. I still believe that the Jets got the coach right. But what is Rodgers sitting there? Because now the Packers have moved on to the divisional round with Love in his first start, and he does in Dallas. You know, similar to something that Rodgers did, although Rodgers needed that dynamite throw to Jared Cook and then a 51-yarder from Crosby to win that game. This one was over by the second quarter. It was over by the coin toss. And they looked so good. And they're built for the long haul, and the Jets are hoping that they got the right coach and everything else set up for Rodgers as a 40-year-old. Which position would you rather be in? Man, oh, man, oh, man. Good plan, Texans and Packers and Jets did the same thing. I guess getting the quarterback right, that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And hopefully they did get it right with Rodgers next year, but for the moment... It looks like the Texans and C.J. Stroud and the Packers and Jordan Love will be the ones to try and one and done the one seeds in the way that they did this weekend to who they played against. The Browns and the Flacco Sants, a resounding thud of an end. But what a ride. What What a ride, I get it, but that thing's over. Yep. (laughs) And then the Packers, what the hell just happened there? Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 